Over 50 years ago, NASA sent the first man to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Today, through the Artemis missions, NASA is planning to send people to create a permanent base on the moon. We are going to build a LEGO moon base where four brave minifigures will risk their lives in lunar exploration. In short, the Artemis missions plan to put people on the moon, a space station into the orbit around the moon, and to build a small base on the moon with everything an astronaut would need. This is just our first step in colonizing the moon and eventually heading to Mars. Recently, LEGO has released two waves of sets based on the Artemis missions. We only have one LEGO space set, so we ordered two of the newer sets, the moon base and the lunar rover. Next, we quickly assembled them. These sets are great for playing and work well together. In total, these two sets have nine figures, six of which have astronaut suits. They also have a plethora of fun builds. There are, however, a few problems with these sets. First, the rocket only holds two people. How did they get to the moon base when there is only one rocket? If there was an emergency on the moon, how would all four crew members escape to Earth with only two seats in the rocket? Another problem occurs when you try to connect the rover to the moon base. Doing so requires you to open the doors to the base and the rover. This releases the air, consequently killing the astronauts. The one area on the base that is sealed, which is the dome above, doesn't have any entrance for the astronauts. We will fix problem one later. For now, problem two can be fixed with an airlock. An airlock would keep the air inside the base when the astronauts go in and out of it. Without an airlock, the astronauts would need to wear their spacesuits 24-7. Long story short, all of our brave astronauts would be dead within a few days of living on this moon base. Even with all these flaws, we wholeheartedly think this set is really cool, and you should buy it if you have some spare money. For this simulation, we don't want our astronauts to die, so we will not be using this moon base. This is getting out of hand. We are producing this video in coordination with Space Foundation Discovery Center located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. They have numerous displays about space and our exploration of it. They also have Lego rovers which you can drive in the Mars Robotic Laboratory. Also, in June of 2023, they opened a special exhibit about our expected return to the moon. For our moon base, there are five different options for its location on the moon, which are shown in this exhibit at the Space Foundation Discovery Center. Pause the screen if you want to read the details about each of them. We have chosen Mons Malpert because it has the warmest temperatures and some useful materials nearby. Comment below which one you would choose. Now it is time for us to send our astronauts to the moon. To do this, we built this SpaceX Starship. It will be 120 meters tall, which is approximately the height of a 36 story building. By making this new ship micro scale, we can fix all the problems mentioned earlier. Now this ship has space for all of the crew and cargo. Here are the four astronauts who have volunteered to undergo this risky mission to our base. Joe, the pilot. Jeff, the horticulturalist. Jimmy, the engineer, and Susie, the physicist. They have all completed their training and are ready to go into space. Three, two, one. Three days later. Our astronauts are now on the moon and we will start the construction of this base. The first thing for us to build is the main structure. This is where the astronauts will live. It will consist of multiple pods with rooms containing everything they will need. These pods will be egg and sphere shaped because corners would create weak spots where the seal would be more likely to break and let out all the air. 
killing the astronauts. In the first section, we will build an airlock that allows the pressure inside of the building to be equalized before the astronauts go into it. It works by pumping the air into the room, making the pressure the same as in the rest of the building, allowing the astronaut to take off his suit and go in. We also added some nice windows on the side and a hatch to let them in. Next, we will create a little section for the middle of the base, which will connect all of the rooms and add a table for detail. To the right of the airlock, we built a bedroom for the astronauts. We only included two beds because the astronauts will be awake in shifts with only two of them sleeping at once. This means that two astronauts will always be awake in case of an emergency. On the opposite side of the bedroom, we built a bathroom and an exercise room. The gravity on the moon is 16% of the gravity here on Earth. Due to this, it is easier to move around, but this eventually makes the astronauts weaker. To prevent this, we built a treadmill for our astronauts to use in the base so that they will retain their health. To the side of the treadmill, we will add a bathroom. This one is inspired by the bathrooms on the International Space Station. Now on the final side of the base, we will build a garden. In the hallway leading up to the garden, we have a small science lab with a microscope, lots of tools, and an organism that the astronauts are studying. Out of this hallway, we have a big garden with all of the food astronauts will need to survive for a few months. For the top of the garden, we will use these large dome pieces that came from the moon base. First, we added a floor and dirt for the plants. We built up the walls with many large white pieces. They also require a computer for inventory and so that they can watch our YouTube videos and subscribe, do it. Finally, we finished it off with a column in the middle and the dome. Now that the main base is built, the astronauts will require power, air, and water. So we added four solar panels to the side and two tanks, one for air and one for water. We also added a satellite for communication with Earth. Finally, a rover was constructed. We based it off of a concept for one that may be used in the Artemis missions. Now our base is completed. These astronauts should be able to survive for a few months or so without any shipments or restocks from Earth. There are a few things that we want to do to test the base. First, we will simulate a dust storm. Dust storms on the moon are a bit different than those here on Earth because there is no atmosphere and therefore no wind on the moon. On the moon, there is always a long skinny dust storm along the Terminator, which is the line between night and day on the moon. Scientists hypothesize that this is caused by a difference in charge between the light and dark areas of the moon. So we will recreate this dust storm over the base. For our next disaster, we will simulate a meteorite shower with all of these Lego meteors we built. The moon gets hit by approximately 2,800 kilograms of meteorite material every day. These can be smaller than grains of sand or as large as a small car, and they can have a mass of up to 400 kilograms. At least that is the largest recorded to date. Now all our astronauts are going to come back home. Thanks for watching. Check out Space Foundation Discovery Center in Colorado Springs if you happen to be nearby, and we will see you in our next video. Bye.